Hello everybody, welcome back to Monster Hunter World. In this episode, we're going to continue on with the, um, what is this called, the like deep green, the, um, the event quest that's going on at the time of recording to hunt the five monsters of the ancient forest. And we're going to get right back into that fight with the Rathlos we were in in the last episode. So, I am going to... Oh, no, don't you fucking... You piece of shit. Where is it going? Okay, whatever. We won't deal with him. We'll, we'll go after the Kadachi. We will go after the Kadachi if it's going to run away. Because it's already injured. It's not It's not going to recover health. Because I didn't beat it that badly. So it's just going to fly around. I'll just make the fight at the end easier. And... There should be Kadachi tracks somewhere up here. Because it does usually stay pretty high up in the ancient forest. It's it's not usually it doesn't usually show up this on the ground level. Uh. Cause oh, it actually is on the ground level right now. Huh. That doesn't happen very often in my experience. Then again, I don't hunt in the Kadachi that much. So I could just be misinformed. And the Rathlos is up in Lake Area 16. Which, I mean, cool, we can just warp to... What the heck even... Hold on, guys, we're gonna take a little detour. I want one. I missed it, didn't I? Oh, there's still this one. Caught that one. Climbing Joy Perch. That is going in my in my room. When this is done. But anyways, back to hunting the Kadachi. Um it says it's right around Oh, it's above. Okay, I know where it is. Uh, just took kind of a weird route to it. Uh, and let's see if I can stun lock this thing. Because it is, it's really vulnerable to poison, and I am using the poison hammer in this game. Which reminds me, this this monster hunter has like the least monsters. I'm, I think, pretty sure. Where's that red pit? It is right under that. We're gonna try and get a full Big Bang combo off. And we do! Unfortunately, it wasn't to the head, so we're not gonna get the stun. But, we got the Big Bang off. And this thing is probably down a lot of health for that. And a mount. We're gonna pull that up on the mount. Dope. The, uh, the Kadachi is actually kind of an easy fight if you are stupidly weak to thunder. Because it's... It is kind of predictable if you've played other games. Like, it has moves reminiscent of the Ketchawacha. It has moves reminiscent of the Zenogre because it's a fanged Wyvern. 
which there's actually a lot of in this game. Which makes it all the more confusing as to why they didn't include the Xenogre. Because, I mean, they'd have every other thing. They have every other thing, Wyvern. Because before the Xenogre... Bef before this game, the Xenogre was the only thing, Wyvern. But, I'm hoping that'll come out in, uh... In an update, like the Devil Joe, along with some other of my favorite monsters and Elder Dragons. Like, they have an opportunity in this game to show or um, to have Elder Dragons that haven't been seen since uh, Freedom Unite. I think, I think that was the name of Monster Hunter 2. Like, the, um... I forget its name, it's like the Yama... something? It's just this giant, like, plant octopus thing. And... The Lao Sheng. I've seen that thing, and... I don't think it's showed up anywhere since Freedom Unite. And... Like, since I wasn't playing the series when Freedom Unite was out, it it, it does kind of suck that I won't get to fight that. I haven't gotten to fight that thing. Um, I would appreciate underwater combat coming back, but I know that's... that's probably really unlikely. Because the Cadius was... A fun fight. And the Goble. That mother... F it flew off again. It's up at area 16. Ooh, Rathalos. Ooh, it's ticking me off. Oh, man. And it just... Dis you see, this is, um... This is the one problem the open area has. Is that the monsters travel a lot more. Which is a pain in the ass. Because you can spend 10 minutes of a Rathalos hunt just trying to catch up to the Rathalos. Because every time you get to the same area it's in, it flies off. But thankfully, it's in Area 16, and hopefully, we will be able to fight it here and take it down here. We're just going to get its attention, and we're going to try and get it to injure itself. Come over here. There we go. One more time. One more. Come on. I didn't get itself. Damn. Uh, if, if there's time at the end of this video, I'm, I might show you a great clip. I managed to save of a Rathalos fight. I think it actually was my fight with the Rathalos at the end of this quest the first time I did it. And I don't know, if there isn't time, I'll put it in the opening of the next video. Because I am going to be recording a three episode burst just because I'm going to be out of town for a bit. It's also why the first part of this came out. Sunday was because I'm gonna be out of town on my regular uploading day and I'm pretty sure YouTube took away uh, upload queuing from small channels with the ad revenue update but I I never used upload queuing anyways and I've got I've got to go silent for a minute just to focus Like, 
this channel has given me a shocking awareness of how hard it is to be like Markiplier and Air in the game grumps. Because it's like, you, you watch them do really stupid things while they're playing, and you, you, you don't realize just how much trying to constantly keep talking, and I, I would say keep an audience engaged, but, but if my channel shows anything, it's that I, I clearly fail at that, but, but, but they succeed. Like, you, it's, it's really hard to talk and be competent at video games at the same time. Just because you're, you're, you're trying to keep a conversation going. So you're not a hundred percent focused on everything that's going on on screen. So you make a lot of really stupid mistakes. Like I've I've probably gotten hit by something that I should have seen coming well before it hit me, like that. And this poison. There we go. I do appreciate the fucking... I walked right into that. See, and I'm dead. Yep, Rathalos. I, I do appreciate that you can move while drinking a potion now. Because it, it was always kind of frustrating to be locked in place for a good five seconds while drinking a potion. Because it, it, it was always like the monster would snap to you the second you started that animation. In the old games. And it, it would always be like their power attack. Too. <sighs> Fucking damn it. I need an antidote. Antidote. I'm just gonna keep running in circles while I'm healing up. Because Rathlos refuses to come to the ground. Oh, come on. It's gonna fly off, isn't it? Uh, yep. That is not the smart way to go about this. That is definitely not. Because that will take me way too far down. Uh. Yeah. It's a, oh god, this area. Oh, well, I might be able to get the jump attack off if I wedge beetle. No, no, I wasn't. I was unable to. But we do have Gajalaka here, which are a complete wild card and might be incredibly helpful in this fight because they might uh, throw a fucking sleep dart at the Rathalos. Which, which has happened for me on more than one occasion. Just the Gajalaka help you by just hucking shit at the monster. And just putting all the debuffs on it. Like, I, I do appreciate that there's a lot more negative interaction between the monsters. Because in, in the old game... If, if you were hunting two monsters, and they were both in the same area, they were both fighting you. In in this one, it's, it's a pretty decent strategy to pit the monsters against each other. And then kill the one that got really messed up by the fight. Like... Okay. 
Oh, if only there was a windproof charm. A windproof charm would be very nice. There, there might be a windproof decoration, but I don't have it. Because uh, that was bullshit. I, I swear, if I. If, come on, give me the sloopy. No. Oh, I dodged that. Oh, I knocked him out. I knocked him out of the sky. Terrific. Come on. Big bang combo. Yes! That's how we do it. And... I think that will do it for the video today, guys. Um, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.